In the 1950s, country artists just didn't have drummers. Uh, drums were pretty much verboten on the Grand Ole Opry. Bob Wills got away with it once because drums were such a big part of his Texas swing sound, but uh, after that, drums really weren't seen on the Opry stage again until the late 60s. Now, Johnny Cash made his first recordings at Sun Studios in Memphis, which was the birthplace of rock and roll. Uh, Rocket 88 was done there, which was pretty much the first rock and roll recording uh, with Ike Turner on the keyboards. This is the place that discovered Elvis, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Johnny Cash was kind of halfway in the, uh, the rockabilly department himself. Now to add some percussion into some of his songs like I Walk the Line and Folsom Prison Blues, he actually wove a dollar bill into the strings of the guitar. It kind of gives the impression that there's a snare drum there. That's pretty ingenious. And I'm going to try that today. So you just kind of kind of weave it in the strings. There's any number of uh, ways you can do it, really. Actually, I want to go under the the first few strings, so maybe maybe those strings will open up and you'll be able to hear them. Now, just kind of uh, tape it back. Now I'm going to try to tape this pretty tight because I want to hear these uh, these strings that the dollar bill is going under. You're not going to get much of the guitar with this, but I want to get a little Yeah, there you have it. I got a pick in there. So you see it works, it kind of sounds like a snare drum, you're not getting a whole lot of guitar out of it, just, just, just a couple of strings vibrating there. Now I'll show you something I like to do, I, I like to uh, wrap it around the neck of the guitar without actually weaving it under the strings. That causes the top and bottom strings to click against the dollar bill and leaves a lot of the other strings open. It gives you more guitar that way. Let's see if I can uh, make this work. It's also a good idea to, to sort of uh, secure the dollar bill to the neck of the guitar with a little more tape so it doesn't move too much. Oh, that sounds way better right there. Get the tape back on. So you get much more clean click that way. So yeah, there's a uh, hack from the rockabilly era proving that they were cheating in the studio even back then. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, please consider tipping me via PayPal or Patreon, link below, and please like, subscribe, and share.